Ellie Cats and you viewers. So today I'm bringing you a video about my video game collects, collector's editions. And I don't have as many as a lot of gamers do, but I do have a sizable amount. So I'm just going to dive in and get started. I hope you enjoyed the video, so let's just get rolling. First off, we have the Shin Megami Tensei 4 Limited Edition, which came with the game, the uh, art book slash strategy guide, and a soundtrack which it's got an amazing soundtrack and the art book slash strategy guide is super helpful and I love this game it's so addicting so if you have the chance definitely pick it up I recommend the limited edition because it's awesome next up we have the Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 remix limited edition art book packaging and I'm sad to say I've only played a little bit of the first Kingdom Hearts because I got so many games I had to backlog this but I am going to play through all three of these someday but it's gorgeous from all I've seen next up this is one of my most recent acquisitions but it's Final Fantasy 10 10 2 HD remaster limited edition art book packaging it's just like the Kingdom Hearts art book packaging edition but it's beautiful and awesome and I haven't played it yet either <laughs> now we have Beyond Two Souls limited GameStop Special Edition. It's nothing really special. It just came with a steel book, which didn't come with a regular game case, just the steel book, and then it has some DLC. But you know, it's pretty cool to own. I actually like this game a lot. A lot of people didn't, but I liked it. And next up, one of my favorite game franchises of all time. I have the N7 edition of Mass Effect 3, which is the clutch edition. And this came with a steel book that has both Fem Shep and regular male Commander Shepard on it. It has an art book, a limited edition comic book, a Fabric in 7 patch, a lithographic print, and a digital soundtrack with some DLC also. So this is actually my first collector's edition too, so that's pretty freaking sweet. Next up, this one's really, really cool, but it's the Fallout 3 Collector's Edition, and it comes in this awesome, awesome lunchbox packaging. Slot that back on. And it came with a Pip-Boy bobblehead, a making of DVD, an art book, and of course, the lunchbox. That's pretty cool to have. Next up, this one was sent to me by one of my alley cats and now dear friend Chris. And this is Dead Island Riptide Rigor Mortis Edition, which comes with an awesome suitcase that is inside here. But it also came with a steel book for the game, a little hula zombie girl, a dismembered hand bottle opener, and like a like a room key for the Dead Island Hotel. It was really, really awesome, and he was really sweet for sending it to me. So yeah, this... I love it. I love it, Chris. I love it. Next up, one of my favorite Collector's Editions. It's the Intro 3 Drake's Deception Collector's Edition. And it's got Drake on the cover, Drake on the side, Drake on the side. And it came with this awesome treasure chest box, a steel book and a replica of his belt buckle and his ring neck his his necklace with the ring attached and it came with a really 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 awesome figure of Nathan Drake as well which you can see all these on the back of the box but I'm super proud to own this edition oh my gosh Uncharted is one of my favorite franchises of all time and next up this one was a gift from Robert who has been so kind to me but it's the Tales of Zillia Collector's Edition, and it's beautiful. <sighs> I love Tales of Zillia. I love the Tales franchise, but Tales of Zillia is one of the best. And this is so beautiful. Like, you can open this up and see the beautiful Mila statue artwork right there. And close it, and this came with an art book, the Mila Maxwell statue, and a soundtrack. And it was awesome. It's pretty hard. It's kind of getting hard to find now, too. But I love it. Thank you so much, Robert, for sending this to me. And here's my second collector's edition, which is the Bioshock Infinite Premium Edition. Which, but in my second, I mean the second I bought. 
And this one was awesome. I wish I could, would have gotten the Songbird Edition now, but at the time I, I didn't have the money. But this is still pretty cool. And it's got really cool packaging. There it tells what's in it, but I'll also read that on camera. And it came with a limited edition art book, a, ha a little handyman figure for the board game that came out, a Devil's Kiss lithograph, Murder of Crows keychain, a digital soundtrack, an upgrade pack, and Xbox Live avatars. And it was pretty cool. The art book is outstanding. The keychain was gorgeous. The little figure is really well detailed. It was awesome. I just wish I had the Songbird statue. Next up, Project Cross Zone Limited Edition. And this is for the 3DS. And it came with an art book. And it came with an art book. A soundtrack and a poster. There we go. Get it out, Alyssa. And it's pretty awesome. I haven't played it yet, but what it came with is awesome for and especially since I only paid twenty bucks for this. This is pretty sweet. Next up, uh, one of my newer collector's editions, but it's the infamous Second Son Collector's Edition. Which came with a steel book, Delson's beanie, a set of pins or buttons if you wanna call them that, and a set of three badges and well decals not badges and one badge can't talk today I never can talk actually and it also came with the Cole's Legacy DLC which adds some missions to the game and also got a couple of downloadable vests for Delson to wear but yeah it's pretty sweet it's my first collector's edition for the PS4 so yeah next up my friend Derek H sent this to me which meant which meant the world to me but it's the Bravely Default Collector's Edition. I'm enjoying the game so far. And I love it. It's beautiful. And here's the back, which is gorgeous. This is just a gorgeous box. But this came with the game, a soundtrack, these really beautiful AR cards, and a really, really gorgeous art book. And it's so worth it. Thank you so much, Derek. It's amazing. And next up, another one of my favorites. But this is the... Tomb Raider Survival Kit Limited Edition. And this came with a Lara Croft figurine, which I love and everyone's jealous about. And it came with some patches, and it came with a lithograph and a soundtrack. And let's see, it came with some DLC. It's pretty awesome. Oh, I did have the slipcover for this that told what, what all was in it, but you know what? My mom threw it away. So, I'm kind of ticked now, but <laughs> this is the box that it came in, which is pretty cool. I'm kind of sad that Mom threw away the slipcover, <sighs> but I'll deal. Next up, this was sent to me by my best friend, Rich, but that is the Death Smiles Limited Edition, and a lot of people don't even know about Death Smiles, but it's this awesome shmup, or shoe up made by Cave, and it's gorgeous, addictive, all that good stuff. And this Limited Edition came with a soundtrack, and a um, faceplate, but the faceplate only fits the original Xbox 360s. I have a slim, so it's just on display right now, but it's really, really beautiful. And I love this. I love it so much. And the artwork itself is gorgeous on the box and everything. <sighs> Thank you, Rich. Thank you. And next up, this was sent to me by Robert as well. This is the Saints Row 4 Super Dangerous Wub Wub Edition. And this came with the Wub Wub gun, which I was so happy with. I love that gun to death. It came with the panic button that when you pressed it, it played dubstep. It came with the Johnny Gat statue. And it came with um, some DLC, the Miracle Weapon, the Uncle Sam suit, and the Screaming Eagle Jet. And this is a pretty big box, as you can tell. So, yeah. I love it, though. It's one of my favorites. I keep saying that about everything, but I love all my collector's editions. I love them all. And next up, we have the Tales of Symphonia Chronicles Collector's Edition. One mouthful, but it's so worth it. It's a gorgeous collector's edition. It is numbered. I am number 6060 out of 18,000. And it just came with a bunch of really cool stuff. It's one of the best collector's editions that I've ever seen. It came with an art book. A novel, um, Nindroid figures, a soundtrack, and steelbook, and 
Am I forgetting anything? It came with some downloadable themes for your PS3 and avatars for your PS3. Yeah, that's it. So, that is super awesome. And you, it, it's going for really high prices now because, you know, once it hit 18000 it hit 18000 and it was sold out. But I'm so glad I got my hands on it because it is gorgeous. There's only two more left. Next up is the South Park The Stick of Truth Grand Wizard Edition, which comes cans. I'm turning into Cartman already. It comes with the Cartman figure from Kid Robot, and he's huge. It also comes with a cloth map of South Park, which is the first ever recreation of South Park, South Park as a map. And it also came with some DLC where you could be a necromancer, sorcerer, a ranger elf, a rogue assassin, or a holy defender. And yeah, it was a really, really good game. I loved it. I love the box art of this. And I love the figure itself. The figure's the best part. <laughs> Besides the game, of course. The game is awesome. If you haven't played it, play it. And my last collector's, di bleh, collector's edition was sent to me by Chris. And it is the Injustice Gods Among Us Collector's Edition, which this is one of the best fighting games I've ever played. It was made by the people that made Mortal Kombat. And as you can see, there's the characters in the front, the side, and the back. And this Collector's Edition came with an amazing, amazing statue. It had Batman and Wonder Woman in the Fortress of Solitude. And Wonder Woman has her lasso of truth around Batman's neck. And she's also holding a rocket. And the rocket has a battering imprinted, well, in its side. And it's just gorgeous. And it came with a comic book as well. And let's see. It came with, it came with a digital movie download. And it came with three DLC skins from DC Comics New 52. It was awesome. Thank you, Chris. And he actually surprised me with this. I didn't know I was getting this when he sent it to me at all. But I love it. I love the game. Thank you so much, Chris. It means the world to me. So there you go. Those are my collector's editions. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it's not as fancy as some people's collector's editions videos are, but I'm working on the best budget and the best way I can. But if you liked it, please leave a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought about my collection, or you can make a collection of your own collector's editions and link it to me. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet, because why haven't you? Why haven't you? Alec has are awesome people. We have fun. We're, I try to make epic videos for epic geekiness. I fail sometimes, but you know what? I'm human. So, sue me. No, don't sue me. And <laughs> favorites of your friends and family can see and share as long as you do it nicely. And remember, I love each and every one of you so, so much. And for everyone that has sent me a collector, collector's edition to add to my collection, thank you. It means the world to me. I don't, I don't deserve it, but thank you so much. Peace and kisses. Bye.